Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing to help my fiancé's family during a crisis. I'm 27, and I've never really gotten along with my fiancé's family. From the start, his parents weren't exactly welcoming. They've always had this idea of what a nice girl should be, and I guess I didn't fit that mold. Plus, we come from totally different backgrounds, and that seems to be an issue for them. His brothers and sister-in-law. Yeah, they've also got a bit of an attitude when it comes to how I live my life and what I do for work. They throw in little digs here and there, being condescending about my lifestyle, and honestly, I'm over it. After a particularly rough holiday visit last year, lots of tension and drama, I straight up told my fiancé I was done. From now on, I'm going low contact or no contact with his family. I'm cool with him seeing them and staying in touch, that's his choice, but I'm not doing it anymore. They can still be his family, but they're not gonna be mine. If that was going to be a problem for him, I was ready to deal with that, but he agreed. Said it was fine. We're also on the same page about being child-free, and instead of some big wedding ceremony, we're planning to elope. Plus, because of my job, we'll probably be living far away from his family anyway, like thousands of miles away most of the time. But last week, something big happened. His brother and sister-in-law were in a really bad car accident and ended up in the ICU. They've got three kids under 10, and obviously, his parents were at the hospital, so my fiancé wanted to be there too. Totally understandable. But here's where things got tricky. He wasn't already watching them, this happened during the afternoon while they were just getting out of school so he wanted to go to the hospital from work and have me meet their bus at their house and then stay with them until someone came to take over. That would have been a tight squeeze with travel time on short notice anyway, but these also aren't dependents or first-degree relatives so getting leave to deal with any of this would be unlikely. He asked me if I'd watch his nibblings at their house for a few hours, maybe even overnight depending on how things went at the hospital. Now, I'm not heartless. I get that it's a tough situation but I told him no. I'm happy to help out in other ways, deliver food, run errands, drop off anything he needs. But staying at his brother's house and dealing with his family directly? Nah, I'm not putting myself in that position. Because I'm not willing to watch them at all. The max I would be willing to if it didn't interfere with my work is to drive over, make sure they got off the bus and in the house safely and wait outside for a few minutes for one of their family members to show up. I won't be in their house and I won't be responsible for their kids. It's just a recipe for disaster once the emergency is over. The last thing I need is more drama with his family when they're already not my biggest fans. So yeah, that's where I stand. I'm doing what I can to support him, but I'm sticking to my boundaries when it comes to his family. It's been messy from the start, and I'm not about to get pulled into that mess again, even during a crisis. We went back and forth over it, but he finally ended up staying with them himself overnight and the following day. I dropped off clothes and food that night and the next day, but he just took them without speaking. The brother and SIL will be fine, fortunately. When he got back home, he laid into me about not helping with his nibblings when the situation is so extreme. I told him I did help, just not the way he wanted exactly, and he already knew my boundaries. He said it would have taken the pressure off of him and also been a good olive branch. I told him his family already burned the olive tree and they don't get to look down on me and still be able to call me in in a crisis. Doing the legwork I did was supporting him, and I just really don't care about them anymore beyond him. We're not arguing anymore, but we still disagree. Edit, now that things have settled, and everyone is going to be okay, we had a sit down to talk it over today and I showed him the replies. He does agree now with some time, to think that having me watch the kids would have put me in a difficult position with work, and his family if they reacted badly, and also not been fair on the kids. He was just trying to figure things out in a panic at the time, so he didn't think that part through. More to the point, I've reiterated that my boundaries about his family stand, there are some things I won't compromise for anyone even if I will still do what I can around the edges, and now that he's seen that in action he needs to figure out if he can really live with it before we go all in. So he has some difficult thinking to do. Neither of us want to lose the relationship, but this has to be resolved. I'm going to look into us doing at least a couple sessions with a relationship counselor because it is a pretty heavy subject. If it can't be worked out, then it can't and that will suck, but better temporary suck than still dealing with this years from now. I'm with him because I love him and I was prepared to tolerate his family until they crossed the lines once too many times. 
I told him that I would understand if we needed to break it off when I set the boundary, he wanted to stay. So I feel like that's a choice he's making for himself instead of me cutting him loose or not. If the nibblings were ever left to him and he decided to be their guardian, then we would have to amicably separate and I wouldn't hold it against him. He has to do what he thinks is best, and so do I and there are some things that just can't be accommodated. If his family apologized to me and committed to being polite and non-critical, I might give them a trial period to start over. They never will, so I can best protect myself by keeping that separation in place and not putting myself in situations where I will be in their house unaccompanied or responsible for their children. I don't have a problem with the kids themselves, they're just kids, but I won't be alone with the children of people highly likely to fabricate a problem afterward no matter what I do because they dislike me. I also won't be in that home without a third party period. The kids are a hazard through no fault of their own, but still a hazard. Also, I am not the right person to send to comfort frightened kids. I don't have the personality or the experience to do it well, and I'd rather not risk making it worse than it has to be in that situation. My fiancé is the softer touch, I'm the muscle, and that's how things work best. My fiancé has told his parents and brother slash SAL a number of times that their behavior is inappropriate, but it doesn't stop the behavior. He's unhappy about it, but he can't exactly make them stop. He doesn't spend a lot of time with them but doesn't want to completely cut them out. He wants something tangible to be able to point out to his parents to make them see that I'm really not a bad person because of how I grew up, so they'll stop being so insulting towards me. He can be a bit naive like that sometimes. He just wants everyone to be happy and he's unfortunately in a situation where someone is going to have to give if that's going to happen. I think he assumed that would be me because he gets to see soft me more than anyone else, and I'm willing to find a compromise in most situations. This is really the first thing since we've been dating where situations have smacked up against ironclad boundaries and he's having to deal with a situation where everyone can't be happy. There are reasons for not liking me from what they've told me so far. I don't come from good people, I, I don't remember my parents and since I was in foster care from round three on, they probably weren't upstanding citizens. I also wasn't adopted, so there's obviously something wrong with me. My prospects aren't good enough for them. His family is well off and has a lot of people in professional jobs. I'm career army and I do okay, but I'm not going to be a high earner. I'm not a lady. I'm not feminine or pretty enough. His dad says he might as well be gay if he's going to marry someone like me. I have political and religious opinions they don't like and can't argue me out of. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.